Canada's assisted dying law could become the most liberal in the world if Parliament adopts the recommendations of a committee of MPs and senators looking at measures including expanding eligibility to include some minors and patients with mental illness. Heather Gillis is in St. John's with the further details looking at new recommendations that are just out, Heather. Tell us about them. Well, Heather, a few things stand out, like you said, expanding assisted dying to what's called mature minors. The report says age alone doesn't determine if someone is capable of consenting to MAID. However, the committee says expanding it to minors should only happen when a natural death is reasonably foreseeable. Now, they do recommend consulting with youth on this topic over the next five years. And when it comes to patients with mental illness applying for MAID as their sole condition, the committee heard that more time is needed to make sure that there are standards in place before someone can apply. Now, the committee said Canadians do support making an advanced request for MAID, especially when someone has a diagnosis, something like dementia, where they're going to lose their capacity to consent in the future. The report says in those cases, people should make an advanced request. It should be reviewed periodically. Now, the report also talks about training for medical professionals, standardizing the practice across Canada, and in engaging with Indigenous groups. It also recommends increasing funding for palliative and end-of-life care because the committee says not everyone has access to it and it advocates for more support for people who have disabilities so that they don't live in poverty and see made as a way to relieve that poverty or lack of access to service. Now, just a background, or medically assisted dying was made legal in Canada in 2016. At that time, it allowed adults with a serious medical condition whose natural death was reasonably foreseeable to access it, but only if they met certain requirements. And it, that law now was revised in 2021 after a court case to include people with incurable conditions who were suffering intolerably. Now, that amended law would have allowed made for mental illnesses as a sole condition, but the government sought a pause on that expansion for two years. We already know, I mean, these recommendations are coming out freshly, uh, Heather, uh, at the very time the Liberals are moving to delay making changes to the assisted dying legislation. This is having to do with the mental illness component. So remind us, keep it up, this is right before the House right now, and what is the latest? Well, last month, the Fed said that they're going to introduce legislation to delay changes to made laws until next year. And that's for people who want to apply with a mental illness as their sole condition, as you said. Now, that was set to expand next month, and it would have made Canada's rules some of the most liberal in the world, as you said. Now, Justice Minister David Lametti said there was more time needed to get it right, and he said the healthcare system may not be prepared and government wants to do more consultation. And the delay comes after controversy, division amongst psychiatrists who would need to approve patients with mental illness for aid, and there is worry that people who could recover may choose MAID as an option, especially without strict guidelines uh, outlining access. And Alberta's premier, it is worthy to note Danielle Smith. She opposes extending MAID eligibility for people whose sole condition is a mental illness without her province's agreement. Other provinces uh, have not said anything like that, though. Heather? Thank you very much. Heather Gillis from St. John's.